have two movies scheduled for yes. 2021 and 2023. Yeah. Very excited when these things were announced. I have to ask you, are these two movies connected because, or are they completely separate things? Completely, completely separate things. Actually, I just had two movie ideas in my head felt very strong about it. You, I, for me, there's a kind of, I have all these ideas and they're in journals sometimes and they're, they don't quite have the meat yet. To, so they haven't, whatever that thing is, that ineffable thing that makes it, I'm ready to commit two years of my life to making this, writing and directing this and then promoting it. It, some of those ideas don't have those yet. They just have to gestate a little bit. But there were two that I that, that I've been thinking about that I was right away got these are these two I'm gonna make. And interestingly enough, there might be a third a third thing that came to me that might end up going in between these two. So wait, what? So there might be th- there might be three. That's first of all, as a fan of yours, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. S- second of all, can you do you have titles for any of these? Uh, w- the first one. Have you announced it or have no, you not? No, no, So no, you're no. not going to tell me. No, it's changed already. From the last draft that I wrote of it had a title, and I'm, and now I'm thinking of slightly altering the title in the in the sixth draft of it. Got it. <laughs> um, and my last thing for you, um, you you, how do you think these films that you're making compared to the ones you've made before? Yeah. Is there anything that is is one of them radically different? Do they have a similar like sort of night struck? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm loving this approach uh, from the visit on, which is minimal, contained, um, I own them, we take big risks, uh, tonal risks, and we, we go, try to hit that note of absurd but grounded, that, 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 that dark humor uh, moment, and deal with some complicated things and not necessarily take the audience where they're comfortable, both during it or even at the end. And, but that's all mitigated because we're making it for a responsible number and I feel like I'm being a good partner to my distributors. And I, I like that because it allows me to iterate really fast uh, in, in the making of these stories. So those films will follow that, that um, architecture of approach, of process. Uh, if, even if it's, if it's me tricking me, myself into being more dangerous, it's, it, it's working because I feel when I think about these three films that I'm thinking about, they're all weird and dark, and and I think that they all speak to each other a little bit. So hopefully, Servin will make you go, "Oh wow, I, yeah, right." There was a formalism to uh, Betty Buckley's character in where she worked in Split. Oh wow, I see all these common threads that are coming in underneath the piece. So hopefully, they they they're good to each other, brothers and sisters. I, I gotta go, but um, that's the thing that I think a lot of people don't realize. If you're making a film for a lower budget, you can do whatever the f you want. That's that's really my philosophy. Yeah, totally. Um, can't wait. Thank you so much for everything, and I, this was great. Thanks, brother.